The new products coming out at the drugstore, they are dropping like crazy. I want to bring you a few that I have that I haven't tried before. Maybe aren't very new to you, but I'm excited about some of them and there are a few dozen here. So let's get into the video where I can show you all about these new products. All right, the first one I'm going to tell you about is this lip gloss. And I know somebody's going to say that's not a drugstore, but the Sephora brand of cosmetics is something that I have fallen in love with. I feel like there are a lot of cosmetics that are at the drugstore that are the same price point, but obviously you can only get these at Sephora. And I'm just going to give that an honorable mention. I think it's so pretty. I love the color of it. And it is called Regal. And this is one of their glossed glosses. And I really like this formula. It's very pillowy, very cushiony, and it doesn't have any tingle or anything like that to it. There's no, no plumping effect to it. It's just really pretty. Most of them are kind of a little bit sheer, but as you can see from this one, it does build up a little bit. So I, I really like that. And I wanted to mention it because it's one of those newer things to me that I'm absolutely loving. Now you just saw the outside of this palette and I have two of them from LA Girl. And you guys, I am an LA girl fiend. I love their eyeshadows. I love the formulas, but, and I haven't worked with these. So just keep that in mind. I just got them yesterday, but I wanted to show them to you in this video because I do feel like LA girl might've missed the mark on these. Look how dark they are. There is like all kinds of dark, but very few light in here. And the other thing is tons and tons of shimmers and hardly any mattes this time. Usually they have several mattes, whereas this time I think they only have five. There is 15 in here, so a third of the palette is only mattes. Two thirds is your shimmers. They're pretty. They got a really bright, bold coloring to them, which I think is really gorgeous, but I know that not all of us are gonna be wearing all of this color stuff, but if you're somebody that has been thinking about LA colors, you might think about these. I know that they go on sale quite often at Ulta. Um, the other one that is, wait a minute, I should have told you what that was. This one is called Holidays. And then this other one is called Holla Slay. And this one is uh, the very neutral one. And it does have a lot more of the lighter colors to it. But again, this one is very, very warm toned. So I feel like could they have found a happy balance between warm and cool, done half of it cool, half of it warm, done half of it light, half of it, you know, dark and put some mediums there in the middle. If you have enjoyed the formulas in the past, they do have a very similar formula from there. You're going to love the mattes. You're going to adore the shimmers and they're really, really beautiful. And I do love that for the first time they did come out with an all neutral palette. I just wish that they would have gone a little bit more neutral, neutral instead of warm neutral or even, you know, gone partway into cool neutral. So I think that the quality is there. I'm not crazy about the color story this time, but I wanted to make sure I showed those to you because I know that they are hitting the market right now. Kiko Milano recently came to Ulta and I'm so glad that they did because I'm in love with this brand and I showed you a few products, I don't know, a couple months ago. This one is the long lasting eyeshadow stick. It says eight hours, no transfer. And let me see if I can find a color on here for you guys. The color on the bottom just says 38. I don't know what that is, but basically what this is, is a very cool toned kind of um, taupey brown color. I love this. Now you're going to be able to work with this on your eyes. You're going to be able to blend it out. I usually take a brush and I will blend it across after I've just laid it down with the pen pencil itself and do that. But you know what I've been absolutely loving this for? Before I put on my foundation, I will take it and I will go right below my bottom lip and then I'll just smudge it out like crazy and give a little bit of an illusion of a shadow underneath there so that you do have a little bit more of a pouty lip look. And this one seems to work fantastic for it. So I'm really excited about these eyeshadow stick pencils and I can't wait to get a few more. And I think that they rival the Laura Mercier and also Bare Minerals has some. I know Bobbi Brown has some too. So they do rival high end. They're really, really good. So I'm excited about that one. This one is a mascara that one of you very recently told me about, and I had to jump over to Amazon and grab it. This one is called Best Tidy. So B-E-S-T-I-D-Y Long Curl Mascara. I just have it in the blackest black. I love the packaging. It's got a rainbow sparkly packaging on it. It does have a 
plastic bristle brush, which I know many of you don't like at all, but that is what I have to have because I have so few eyelashes, but I do need those eyelashes each single to be coated. And the ones that are the natural bristles don't seem to do that for me. The other thing I love about this, I actually think this is, might be a waterproof formula. I'll make sure that I list that down below and I probably will put it up here on the screen too. But I want you to see how well it has done on my eyelashes. I just feel like it did a really great job at lengthening and also trying to catch all of those little eyelashes that I have underneath. I felt like it did a really good job for that as well. It lasts all day long. You will have it on when you go to take your makeup off at night. And I use a cleansing balm, which is basically just a solidified oil to take it off at night. And it seems to come off fine. If you have problems getting off your eye makeup at night you need to buy the cleanse the cloths the microfiber cloths that i've talked about before because it doesn't matter if i use a waterproof or if i use a regular one those cloths take the mascara and the waterproof makeup off like a dream along with a balm or whatever you're using as your makeup remover i'll make sure that i throw that up on the screen so that you can see a picture of that and then also i will make sure i link it below this product right here, this is the Maybelline 4-in-1 Perfector. They were trying to dupe Charlotte Tilbury with this. This is the one thing that I'm not crazy about when Maybelline does this. It's that sponge applicator. It's okay, but I find that it gets goopy and it gets messy. And then, you know, your makeup is all over the tube and the inside of the cap. And it's just not a great look. But this is called Instant Age Rewind Perfector 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. It's supposed to be a primer, a concealer, a highlighter, and a BB cream. It is very light. If you wanted to use it as all of that, then you definitely could. Just know that there are no, there is no coverage here whatsoever. I didn't feel like that it covered anything. It is a very light product. It is very hydrating when you put it on, which is nice. But there is no concealing in this, and there is no coverage whatsoever. I'm sure that what they were going for is like, you know, BB cream is supposed to be all-encompassing of what you need. It's supposed to be your beauty balm and and your SPF and your primer and all of that. And that's what they were going for. And it does look quite pretty on my hand here. It is pretty, but I do find that it doesn't last long. If you put it underneath your makeup, it's way better to use than if you put it over your makeup, which is what most people do with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. Um, they do put it on underneath their makeup and it does give a very pretty glow. So this has a very slight slight glow in it so don't get me wrong as far as you know you can go buy this and then put it on the top of your makeup i don't feel like it is any good for that i feel like you could probably mix it in with your foundation if you wanted to do that put it under your foundation if you wanted to do that it's got a really beautiful slip to it so as far as the primer goes where they have the silicone in it that fills the pores i do feel like it would be good for that as well I have not found myself reaching for it very often. Just so you know that I have had it for a couple weeks now. I used it a few times, but I didn't feel like it was the be all and the end all. Even though I know that so many people have felt like it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, that Charlotte Tilbury that everybody uses as a primer is much thicker. It has way more pigment in it. Whereas this is just something that I feel like is more of a glowy primer is what I really feel like it is. I don't feel like it gives you any coverage whatsoever. But do I feel like it's a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury? I don't. Now you might get more coverage if it was a different color. That one is the light medium, I believe, or the light. So just kind of depends. And I know that they only sell that one at Ulta as well. This one, I was watching a YouTuber and I completely forgotten her name. Hopefully by the time I edit and put this video up, I will be able to give you her name. But she was raving about this. She said that ever since she had her channel, that she's been using the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer Base. And this is really pretty. I do have it on underneath my makeup today. I do feel like it does everything that she said it did did it is a glowy one it is a beautiful hydrating formula i don't feel like it's thick i feel like it's super light i feel like it goes into your skin very quickly it does give a tiny bit of a glow not a lot it is one of those ones that should be used definitely as a primer not as anything that you would put over your makeup, but if you have a heavy makeup or a full coverage thick foundation that you are really worried about wearing or that when you wear it, you feel like it gets maybe too cakey or whatever, 
putting this in it i bet it would be an absolute dream because the consistency of it is so good it just has this really watery very thin formula to it and i was so glad that she talked about this because i hadn't heard anything about it um, as far as it being the rose i don't feel like it changes colors or anything on you but it really does have that subtle light glow to it kind of like the maybelline one so if you like that same thing the maybelline one feels like that although i would say that between the two of them i do feel like this rose one or the rose glow rose glow one from revlon i feel like when you glide your hand over what you've just done i feel like it feels like it's going to be a little bit more gripping and it's working good so far for me next one that i got is from covergirl this is the plum blossom clean fresh blush palette and i didn't realize that this was going to be so pigmented um, i probably should have gone for the pink one or the rose one but I love CoverGirl's blushes anyway. It was what I used when I was a teenager. I used to have one of the three ones or the trio ones. They were so much fun. This one right here has a little bit of glow in it and the other two are matte formulas. They're very silky. That is one of the reasons that I've still gravitated towards CoverGirl makeup is because of how silky and how pigmented and how pretty they really are. Now, I actually just go between the three and I'll just take my brush and I'll swirl in between the three and then put some blush on and I love the color of the three of them together So there they are individually and if you just kind of go back and forth You can see that they create a really pretty blush and I like the formula It clings very well to the skin That is one thing that I have a problem with is at the end of the day I don't have blush on because it just goes away I feel like it does a really great job of its lasting power great pigment blendability all of that good stuff hey i'm gonna leave you with something and you're gonna go oh, she has a concealer this is the nyx born to glow concealer it's a radiant concealer i have been using this a tiny bit not very much but a tiny bit and i had noticed that while i wasn't feeling really good for quite some time um i had super darkness in this area right here and just the foundation that i was using wasn't really cutting it i will just take a brush and I will very lightly touch that's way too much But I will very lightly touch that and then I will go right in there into that inner corner and I'll trail it straight down On the darkness nowhere else. So I'm not putting it into these creases out here at all And it seems to be really helping with that really bad darkness that I have you can't see it very much on camera But this is really pretty because it has that radiance in it without being flat without being matte without drying down sometimes when things are matte they dry down too hard this doesn't do that i feel like it has a little tiny bit of tackiness even after it's set down just a little bit and if you're staying away from this part out here which is where all my crinkles are over there then you're not going to get any sort of creasing or settling into lines in this area but i did want to try this because it came out pretty recently and i know that you guys are always interested in concealers and so this one has been working really good for me in very 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 tiny amount and I would stress that over and over again The reason that I feel like my under eyes look so good is because everything that I use I use a teeny tiny amount and I spent a lot of time blending it out So that it doesn't have that cakey look underneath and I just feel like that is so important I love you guys to pieces. Thank you so much for spending a little bit of your day with me today I hope everybody is very happy doing well and that I get to see you in in my very next video please be here i would love that take care of yourselves love you much bye bye